Hey everybody, I'm Richard, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We just discovered that it was a troll, uh, glamoured to look like Snow White. Bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To you bitching about Big B still? Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally Jack. do, but who knows where the fuck they went to. Is Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack? Jack be nimble? I, think, I feel like there's another Jack as well. That wasn't even a lit cigarette. That looked Come like a full on, smoke Ollie, he just threw on the ground and stepped on. Do you want to go again, Mr. Staring at me? I kicked your ass once. Okay, now he looks kind of scared. Okay. okay what do you panic know, about? Relax. I'm not here to start anything. I'm here with Snow White. Like, okay. obviously, I'm not here to start Miss shit. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been Who kind is this of a guy? strange morning for everyone, I think. Jack Frost? Every time I see <laughs> this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It, it really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Yeah. It's because I'm a big, Wolfie, strong dear, wolf. I was going to say boy, but... I feel like that'd be Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack. About you. No, no, Always. Jack. At the bar, here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. Alright, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. Where are you getting all this information? Table, right? Isn't that supposed to be like uh, confidential or something? Tweedle D was just here. Of course he was. Not he Tweedle Dumb. Like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedle Dumb? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Oh, they Tweedle let him go. D said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. <laughs> He said you tortured Great accent. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. I didn't touch Maybe, him. That was freaking... Can't be so dumb. What's Jack, his blue beard? Now. Why is everyone saying that? Did the game, like, what screw up and, like, you and misread Granarol, my choices? get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Because they just nerves. saw me wreck house. What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of Jack. trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has oh, been her missing name's Gren. for what? A few days now? So, ja let we Jack haven't talk. heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? Uh, I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. That's some pretty hard news to take. I couldn't imagine getting that. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just this guy one is just more really thing. full of mouth, eh? He just never stops talking. Whenever someone pipes up, he's got to bring something into it. Like, yeah, he was standing uh, up for Holly. That's fine. It. But still. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. See? Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? I was looking for her. Found her in the river. You give one <laughs> ounce of a so shit. So you know what you want me to say, bud? Any of us. She might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I, I wish this had ended up better. Shut your face, guy. Like, can't you just let things go for a second? This is clearly not the time or place to be going off about your hatred for the government of fairy tale creatures. I don't know what you want me to say. Careful, Snow White. I don't think she Holly, likes you very much. Get the fuck out of my bar. That answered that. I just want. It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. It's not very nice. Why was your sister glamoured to look like her? Maybe your sister shouldn't have been doing that, and it would have been Snow. I'm not saying that she should have died. I'm saying no one should have died. But still, you can't blame this on us. From her personal effects, I thought. You might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Uh, oh, the 
I'm not gonna say we don't have time for this, and I'm not gonna say that's evidence. That was decent of you. No, that was evidence. Give it right. back. Just yeah. rip it from her hand. Take off her it's mine. Are you sure? Is he just a barfly, or is he like the bodyguard, or like the bouncer of the place? If he's a bouncer, well, he doesn't do well. Because Bigby kicked the shit out of him. Bitch. I don't like that guy, so... I can call him what I want. <laughs> New Book of Fables entry know unlocked. Much about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. That's not good. You should always keep in touch with your loved ones and family. It's important. Because before you know it, she it's too late. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh god, I'm sorry. So they found out that there was a that body was and they said it should have been Snow White, but they didn't know that the body looked like Snow White? She was looking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, I mean, the only people she I guess were at her work. people would have their kinks and be like, I want to sleep with Snow White, but I can't, so get a glamour. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Fucking fees. It's a crock of weird shit. people, weird That's fetishes. They kept her under their thumb, really. Pudding and pie, it's fees, okay. Georgie. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just place called Puddin' and Pie sounds delicious, so what do you mean it's garbage dump? Uh, Lily. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. But that's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she where is she? She's at the business office. Dumped her down the witching well. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down well. there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know, some old world shit will fuck your soul up. Of course. I'm not gonna okay. mess with tradition. Let's go down to the business office and. If I have to punch Crane in the face to give it to her, then I will. Right. I don't like that guy either. It's a lot of people in this I don't like very much. Like a lot. That now that I think about it, like 90% of the characters I just dislike. You were good with her. I'm impressed. I mean you're impressed. Really? I have a gentle soul. Just made everything easier. You're welcome. What where's that new book of fable? What? The hell did I unlock this time? I wanna check those, but I have to do it after the cutscenes. If I remember. Sorry if I don't. I'll try to though. I just want to know. I have a feeling one of them is the Jack, and I want to know if, if it's Jack and the Beanstalk. It has to be. Because Jack be nimble is just a nursery rhyme. It's not a fairy tale, and Jack Frost isn't really a fairy tale either, but then again, neither is Sleepy Hollow. So, I don't know. Oh, the pudding and pie is a strip joint, or a hooker joint. I don't know. I don't know if hooker joint is a thing in the world, but. <laughs> Hey, this is uh, fairy tale land, so I don't know what the hell's going on. She's got a ribbon oh. just like Faith. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. I'm a friend of Georgie's. I got some questions for Georgie. I'm looking for someone. I've got some questions for Georgie. Who those Georgie? Straight to business this time, then. This time? You said you'd never seen me here before. He's here. I've never seen you around here, Boar, but I'm glad you're straight to business this time. You mean the first I time? The only time? What? Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. Yeah. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I, don't, I have a way with people. It'll My fists. Fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> yeah. So this is the first way. This is the second. <laughs> Come on, Bigby. Bust out the cheesy lines. I thought she was gonna like shut the door behind me and lock it. That would have been sketchy. Welcome to the pudding and pie. Feel the thunder. We cater to the diverse taste. So is that like community. Thor or your something? Who's a donus? Your Skip the spiel. You may be in danger. Your imagination is the menu, and discretion is our guarantee. Some terrible slogans. I don't like them. 
she worked here. It makes everything sound shady. My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. The, the magic mirror said that. Is that like, are they like cursed to say that or something in case they get asked? Whoa, tits. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> really? Really, game? What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? <laughs> look like you're trying to no take a shit. You fucking dozy bitch. I can take it from here. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Oh god, get that off the screen. You never smile. I'm so like it's it makes it so hard for YouTube. I mean, I care more if I was able to monetize my videos, but I'm not big enough anymore cuz the rules changed. Keep dancing you. I didn't say stop. But for fuck's sake. You. It's just annoying. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I want to you tell, Georgie. leave her alone and everything, but brilliant deduction, sheriff. I will kick your ass, Georgie. What are you from? What are you? The want, fable then? of dicks. You here for a little taste? Okay, tell well, you could have covered up better. <laughs> I was talking about how that shouldn't be in the video and I should blur it, but or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me. Do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone You Like, right. what, are you I singing a song here, Georgie? Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. I love your dollar sign tattoo on your face. It's really classy. <laughs> okay, all right, Sheriff. Just What's this, Chesse you? kiss the girl? Look, I know why you're here. Do you? Are you sure? Might as well say what I said. Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? She, People get up to she got murdered. Kinds of things when nobody's well, watching. You know, oh. it's illegal to impersonate another fable. Even it's, on. it's illegal as long as I don't like it. Fair enough. The thirteenth floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market is it? How exciting! And I'm, I'm sure exactly you know where it's coming from. A thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people, but you've got fuck all to back it up. <laughs> and we're all just going to jump anytime the wolf spit shows on your flare you. all you want, on your flare, Nothing on your floor. Back it up. Well, what the fuck is this then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she I don't think he'd care that much. She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like you. Ooh. Try looking like in him. the mirror. Funny guy. Anyway, can I hit him yet? With me. I just want to be dealing with everything with my fists from now on. Go on then. Don't do it. Run away, girl. No, okay. We're not done here. We're not done here. I think we are. I said we're not. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? Tell I'm gonna me not I do it. Know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Last time I hit someone, it didn't go well for me. Did he just try to punch me and then oh, fall back? Oh, fuck! Was he winding up for a punch and just screwed up? You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Okay. Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Who the hell is this guy? Fuck off, Hans. Hans? Is it Hansel and Gretel? Is that Hansel? Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? I got some questions for you. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? 
And the way we guarantee that is I don't like no this guy. Anything. They don't but what's new? Know. I don't like anyone in this me. game. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron. <laughs> Show me. There is no book. And as for you, yes, Hans, there is. we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hans, I bet you hey, can kick the shit out of this little runt. I'm not gonna sh smash up the boombox. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. I'm gonna catch him off guard. Well, tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now. This is kind of my job at this point. I'm not gonna break a bunch of shit. I feel like that's gonna come back and bite me in the ass if I, I do that. I Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. I gotta- I feel like I should break book, one thing eventually. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Hans said there was a book. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, you still can. Okay, so we're getting close to- There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. What do we got here? Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. Yeah. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Come on, Bigby, you're Sheriff, strong. Rip it open. On. Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. I don't want to hurt him either. I should have broke one thing. Now I feel stupid. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. No, just you're Jesus. guilty. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. I don't want your money, man. I just Women want. Are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. And both of them worked here. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Well, I didn't actually break anything, so. I still feel like Big B could have just ripped that safe open. He's pretty strong. When he's in his wolf Bloody form, come anyway. On, man. Prick. Excuse me? I'm still right here. Once could still again, hurt you. Get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. It's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Look at that, the book. You know, open it, Bigby. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Lily Snow White. Oh dear. So he did know. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. 207. That's 207. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. not my fucking secretary. But I you give them a stage. keep track of this I shit. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever Who's that girl peeking out? Was that the one that was dancing? Them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Go for it. If you're calling Crane, I don't give a shit. I'll punch him in the face too. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here, uh, just because I'm out of time. Oh wait, I should look at the book of fables. Because I said I wanted to. Oh, there he is. Uh, Jack. Jack Horner, harmless trickster. Jack is always up to something, blah blah blah. Person. Okay, so it doesn't even tell me who he actually is. Who's Jack Horner? I don't freaking know who that is. And this stupid symbol. Okay, whatever. You guys can tell me in the comments if you know if that's Jack of the Beanstalk. I didn't. If 
Jack and the Beanstalk or Jack Be Nimble or any of the Jacks had last names in fairy tales, I didn't know about it because when I was a kid and ha- heard these fairy tales, it was just Jack. That's it. That's all I got. So, <laughs> who the hell's Jack Horner? Doesn't help me. Interesting though. Um, at least we found the source. Both those girls had the ribbons around their neck. Uh, we didn't talk to Lily, but um, the first girl and the girl that let us in both said our lips are sealed when we asked them like serious questions about things. And the mirror, the magic mirror said my lips are sealed when I asked him to show me one of the girls. I think it was uh, Faith. Um, So it's kind of weird. I feel like there's something going on that's keeping them silent about everything. They just physically cannot talk about it. Excuse me. Um, I don't trust this guy. He's clearly a shady character. I don't know if he'd be involved in everything, but I think it originates in this area. And then the clients are probably like when he said, who's Mr. Smith? I feel like the client is probably going to be responsible. Who knows? I got through without breaking anything, so I'm happy about that. I I mean, I wanted to break every single thing in here, <laughs> but I'm just trying to be a bit good about things and feel like I get better answers. It worked out for dumb. I'm still mad about that, too, how they keep saying I, I beat up dumb in the interrogation, but I didn't. I was, like, nice to him the whole time to get information. So I don't know if the game screwed up or if that's just what happens no matter what you do which would be stupid. But yeah, I think that's everything I have to say about this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button. And I will see you next time. Bye. That is, though. That's right. Don't scare. Oh, hey, Bendy. You are lovely. There you go. He's gone. I knew it was a